Hey everyone, Myron here, and I've gotten quite a few requests to do a basic guide for Olimar to help people get started as they pick him up. Think of this more as a basic checklist of things to work on and look out for, rather than an elaborate guide detailing every move. That'll come at a later date. With that said, let's get started. To get us started, I'll give a brief overview of what Olimar does as a character, as well as breaking down its Pikmin. Olimar is traditionally thought of as a defensive zoner, and while he does that well, he actually blends aggressive and defensive play together to create a playstyle with very high highs and low lows. By that, I mean in some instances you can take characters from 0 to 80 in a combo, or even take a stock, and other times get consistently stuck in disadvantage. In addition to this, he also has the added element of managing his Pikmin, which can allow for much more devastating plays and increased power. His Pikmin have many different attributes to them, which can shift how your combos and kill moves work. This will allow you to have a ton of creativity in which options are the best at each given moment. The Pikmin attributes are as follows. Red Pikmin are immune to fire attacks, have 40% stronger damage and knockback on smashes and aerials, and have 20% weaker damage and knockback on throws. They have 6% HP. Yellow Pikmin are immune to electric attacks, have 50% larger hitboxes on smashes and aerials, they have standard damage on all attacks, and have 6% HP. Blue Pikmin have more health than red and yellow, and have 70% stronger damage and knockback on throws. They have standard damage on smashes and aerials, and have 8% HP. White Pikmin have the least amount of health of all colors, have 20% weaker damage and knockback on smashes and aerials, neutral damage on grabs, increased grab range, and over double the damage from side B compared to red, yellow, and blue. They have 5% HP. Purple Pikmin. They have the most amount of health of all colors, have 60% stronger damage and knockback on smashes and aerials, neutral damage on throws, and are the only color to have hard knockback when used for side B. However, they have less range on grabs and smashes compared to other colors. They have 11% HP. Now that we have some of the basic information out of the way, let's talk about some general tips to help speed up the learning process for Olimar. First off, it's quite simple really, and that's playing Olimar. I know this sounds obvious, but I really want to push how important it is to get hands-on experience with the character. Concepts like Pikmin management are a bit abstract, and are best taught through repetition as well as trial and error. Figuring out what your ideal lineup will be is something every Olimar player does, and will help teach you when to use each color. A few example lineups I like are two purple and a blue. This allows for solid side B and attack pressure while maintaining a kill throw. Blue, white, purple, similar to the first line, but more damage oriented, allowing you to attack on a white before combo for even more damage. And lastly, yellow, blue, and purple. This lineup serves a general purpose in that it can do decent damage, but has the yellow added for extra range to help keep opponents out. These are just a few lineups that I prefer, and you'll likely find others that suit your playstyle better. No one Pikmin type fits all situations, so constantly switching it up is important. Next up is accepting Olimar's flaws. While yes, Olimar is looking quite strong in this game, he still has his weaknesses, most notably his disadvantage state. Whether it be offstage and trying to recover, or when trying to land from above the stage, it can be tough. However, we have tools to help reduce this burden. But before I get into those, I really want to stress that you will spend time in this area, and that's okay. As long as you still have your stock, the game is winnable. Just keep your eyes peeled for an opening, and mix up your options till you're on your feet again. To start off his defensive options, we'll talk about his whistle armor. For those who don't know, Olimar's down special has super armor on frames 2 through 7. This means when he uses it and gets hit during those frames, he will receive no knockback and only damage. This is especially useful in the air, since you will likely not be grabbed. It also serves as a way to combo break. The whole animation is less than a third of a second, so it's quite low commitment. Another tool that can help you dodge your opponent is your up special. With minimal or no Pikmin, this move has insane movement and can often allow you to outspeed your opponent. However, it can also be used as a third jump slash hover type option to bait out attacks from an opponent and then punish after you've dodged. Finally, don't forget about his aerials. They're traditional disjoints in this game, so when attacking an opponent, they won't clank like your smashes. Between these three options alone, you can add quite a variety to your defensive gameplay to help keep the opponent off of you. Olimar's general game plan consists of staying outside the opponent's range and racking up damage from afar until you find an opening to get in. Side special is a great way to force your opponent to either approach or commit to an option so they'll stop the incoming damage. From there, it's all about finding your opening and using one of your combo starters. Resetting back to a neutral position is fine as well. While you can try to press advantage on an opponent with aerials, don't overextend and lose your positioning for some extra damage. Being mindful of your positioning relative to the opponent is key. We may have strong attacks, but Olimar is rather slow, so we want to maintain control as much as possible. Unlike in the previous games, our grab has a bit more cooldown. 
This means when an opponent is approaching, we need to use more of our options, such as aerials, smashes, tilts, and purple Pikmin side special, to get them off instead of just pivot grab. Purple side special is a great way to really push aggressively, as well if that's your thing. Forcing the opponent to deal with a flying hitbox is a strong option and can put them in a bad spot. Finally, I'll just give a brief reminder that while Pikmin are the main source of damage, you don't want to skimp out on using your other attacks. Moves like jab, down tilt, and up tilt are your quickest attacks and all solid options up close. Ideally, you want to find a balance of Pikmin and regular attacks. Those up close options will also start combos just as well as moves like neutral air, up smash, forward air, and forward smash will. So don't be afraid to mix and match all the moves you've got. Olimar often has low lag on his attacks, especially smashes, so you can let loose a lot of the time. Up smash in particular is your most lagless smash and a great out of field option. I've given you all quite a bit of information to get you started, but learning never really stops. So I've gone ahead and included a couple of links in the description to help connect you with other Olimars and get the confirmed info to you. Olimar isn't a simple character, but he's quite rewarding to play and you'll likely find him more fun as you get better with him. I hope this guide helps, and I'll see you all next time.